Good morning guys, welcome back to another week of my life vlog. Um, it is closet install day. Apparently this is gonna take three days. I have a new closet coming. Um, I just moved to this new house, a little new to me. If y'all are new here, how many times can I say new, okay? They just call me and they're about five minutes away and I have to film a little before for y'all. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys with. My face is so puffy because I went to there so two nights in a row and I got home, I got like five hours of sleep and I'm tired. I just roll time, okay? I have to go to New York this week. We're dropping the Open Page pad. I just got a lot of work stuff, a lot of home stuff. So if y'all are new here, subscribe. Let's go see the before of the closets. It's gonna be like so sick. I'm so excited. Here's the before of the closet room. It is just another bedroom. You guys have seen this if you've been watching my vlogs recently. But if not, hello. This is where it's going. This is obviously going away. Um, I just like haven't been able to move it. I'm actually selling it because I just like don't need it. But I also think it's like really like not cute. But it was the only like vanity that worked in my other closet room in the townhouse. Um, and then over here. It is just like the actual closet in the closet room. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have an actual organizer come in next week. And then my closet will actually be a set up set up. I probably won't get to organize much of it besides like maybe putting like cowboy boots in or something. Um, I don't know, maybe this will fit here. Let's see. I'm probably not supposed to drive this, but let me take a photo. Okay, I wanna sell this. So, that actually worked. If I wanted to keep that and like put a vanity in here, I guess I technically could, but it's just not the vibe. Hi y'all, it's me. Um, it is actually the next day. So I didn't really vlog yesterday for a multitude of reasons. Um, one, there's been men in my house for the past two days. They just left. So we're about to do a closet reveal because they only took two days. They were so nice. I've been taking care of this dog literally 24 seven. I literally just drag her crate with me everywhere I go. So she doesn't feel left out. Number two, yesterday, I have never been so tired, I swear, in my entire life. And it's crazy, because I feel like I do the same amount on the weekends. Like, I'm always, the like, go, go, go for the most part. Like, most weekends, I would say. I was unwell. I couldn't do anything vertically. I had to do everything. I canceled my workout. I worked vertically from bed pretty much all day. I was so tired and then this morning i woke up i made myself go on a walk i went to pilates and getting all my work done we have a launch of the okine on friday which will be out by this time anyway so i'm getting a lot of stuff done but i'm still feel like i'm recovering from errors i'm not gonna lie to you anyways without further ado oh and i leave for new york tomorrow so i have a lot to do it's like 4 p.m they finally left now i can vlog again we're gonna like get some things going i need to put a lot of laundry away i might even start putting stuff in that closet um and i need to pack and just like other things that I really feel like reading, like story of my life, you know? Also, uh, my grass got mowed like four days ago and I swear it already needs to be mowed again. This is why I need to be able to mow my own yard. That's my next thing I'm learning. I'm deciding like, I think I want to be a lawnmower. I th be a lawnmower? Is that a noun or a verb? What does that make sense? Is this the, f I don't know guys. My brain is not working. Anyways, the closet is installed. It is so, Stunning and I'm gonna give you guys a little closet reveal walking in to the closet room ready 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 Wow, so this is the container store like a Vera collection. I think is what they call it Um, you go in this is not sponsored. I paid a lot of money for this Um, it was definitely an investment, but like it just matches my house so well. Um, not sponsored. I wish it was <laughs> Anyways, this is the Avera like, container store collection. Moving over here, when you walk in, I guess we'll start here. This is where my cowboy boots are supposed to go. Um, and then we have some racks. We have a bunch of drawers. So whatever those are called, my kitchen has them too. This is my one like big drawer. I don't even know what everything, like what all is gonna go in here. Because this will be like my actual like clothes clothes, not like my lounge wear clothes. You know, like what I'm wearing now, what I wear every single day. Over here, we've got some more like shelving, some more racks. This will be shoes, more racks, and then more lights over here. And it is just stunning. Same situation with the drawers. This is supposed to be like handbags, I think. Maybe this is where my cowboy boots go, actually. I can't remember. I'm going to bring some stuff in and we're going to figure it out together. But it is so 
stunning, guys. I can't wait to just like get ready in here constantly. My other bathroom, let me show you guys. You need to give me your two cents. So this is technically the guest bathroom. So there's this like built in little like makeup vanity essentially, but I would need to move my like big like makeup light in here. But I could just use this as my makeup vanity. Like, and it's so cute. And I feel like that's actually what I'm gonna do. But then, like, I can just, like, move stuff and I have guests over, like, whatever, when they're staying here. But I love having a place to just, like, sit in the closet room. So maybe I'll just get, like, an ottoman here. And then I'll get ready and whatever. And if I want, I can wear makeup and whatever. Um, but anyways, I mean, it is so stunning. Like, just... Perfect. I'm pretty sure this is actually where the cowboy boots are going. I mean, I have so many pairs, so I might as well just bring them in. Obviously, this will be my first thing that I move in here. So, I'm thinking the boots will go up here. Ugh, I knew these weren't going to Oh, they do, perfectly. Okay. These are my tallest ones, so that's going to be the only issue. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're just so stunning. These might not stand up all the way. Yeah, they're not going to, so only leather. So I added some boots and then I added some bags. These are obviously not all of my cowboy boots. I ordered this mirror um, probably like six months ago and it got lost in the mail and they made, they're like custom made, so then they had made me another one, make me another one. This is where it's from, I found them on TikTok. It worked better with my last style in my last house. Now it's like, I don't know if that's necessarily what I'm like going for here. But I spent a lot of money on this mirror and I just think it's really, really like cute. It's two-toned brown and like I could put it here, but I feel like I'm going to want a full body mirror. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It's so cute, but I just don't know. Like maybe I'll do full body here and then put it here. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, it is really cute and it does like look really good with the room. I just don't know if that's like what I'm going for here because I have other accessories that I was gonna use for in here, so we will see, but I definitely need to get like a little ottoman situation. So maybe I'm not gonna be vlogging like this, um, but I am gonna start putting more clothing and stuff in here, so we'll do a little time lapse, see how much I can get over. It's so exciting. Before we time lapse though, I could put that mirror up and then move. I know no one likes the rug in my living room there, and I like the rug being in there because I don't want it to be too like gray tone, like that's not, even though my house is gray tone, it's a different kind of gray, like, I'm very specific. I don't like too many cool tones, so I like breaking it up. However, that brown checkered rug might be really cute in here. So, might have to get on that. I also think I'm gonna put my lounge clothes in here, like hidden and like put everything in this room and then use the master closet for like storage of like linens and towels and all that stuff, even though I have really good storage. Like this is so nice to finally have good storage. Also, I am aware I'm the luckiest girl alive. Like this is just so crazy. So anyways, now time lapse time. I'm going to set a timer for one hour. updates as you can see I just threw in a bunch of stuff this is nowhere near everything because I have two full closets full of stuff 
Granted, a lot of that is sweatpants, but my stuff's just like un unorganized, so I don't know where a lot of it is. Anyways, I moved the mirror here. It's too big for the wall, but honestly, I don't care. These are my favorite like full-length mirrors. I just, I like the vibe, so whatever. And part of me like doesn't want to get a rug because when Coco can walk again, I she always, the only time she'll ever have an accident in the house is in my closet room for some reason. So I don't know if I want to do that. And also like, I feel like an ottoman's going to take up a lot of space, but I don't even know if I want an ottoman because then an ottoman is just going to be like, come like the catch all where I throw everything in here. You know what I mean? Anyways, here's my update. I have my boots here. This is not all of them. I don't even know um, where the rest of them are right now, but I'll probably only keep eight out at a time only. Like, I understand this is excessive. Um, I'll just probably keep those, you know, whatever. I feel like that's going to be the vibe. Um, here are some heels. I have more, like, platforms here. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these drawers. I've thrown in, like, Sony Clover clutches, baseball caps, things like that. Um, I'll see whenever my organizer comes over next week. I have denim, and then I have jean shorts, which I didn't even realize I have so many, but only a couple of those probably fit me right now, or just in general. I feel like I always outgrow them. Um, and then I have basically, like, everything here is a skims for the most part, or if you have Ritzia tops, I'm watching H3 right now. Um, but, like, everything that I own that's just, like, my basic tops and basically a Sims character is skims. And I know I have so many more. Um, and that's why I know that I'm missing stuff. Oh, you know what? I know where it is. I, I know where it is. I'm gonna go grab it and do that in a second. I have more shoes here. Here. Why am I talking like that? Um, and then I have, like, my long dresses. A lot of these I haven't even been able to wear. And the thing that's nice about this closet is that it's all open. My other one had, like, closed doors. And I feel like I'm such a visual person. Like, if I don't see it, I can't wear it, especially when it's crammed. So now I love that I can see everything. This dress is so stunning. I wore it in Nantucket. Um, this like really pretty just like white maxi dress all the things over here. I also just got this I think it's from Hutch, right? Yeah Um, I think it's actually a little bit too big. I do need to try it on I don't know what i'm gonna wear it for but it looks so cute and then I also got this top with like a pink bow in the back Um, i'm running out of hangers. So I just threw on like i'm back on my denim jacket wave Like I, I was so over them for so long and here I am. I also got a chocolate brown like corduroy jacket um Blazer. I have so many blazers. We'll figure out what we want to do with this. These are like nicer tops that I would wear in the summer. Just like not just like, I don't know how to describe it. Just nicer. This is going to be for my skirts. This is the start of like my bags that I'm moving over here. These are dresses that I would wear at night, like nicer dresses. And then these are like just dresses that I would wear during the day. And it would make more sense probably for me to put this up here, but I think this looks better because this will be like my most used. This is like pretty much all I wear in the summer are casual dresses. So anyways, that is my update on the closet right now. I'm going to go grab the other stuff. I don't even know what I'm going to put all up here, but it's looking stunning. I obviously can't do my curtains that I had um, in my last townhouse here that I loved. So I don't even know if I'm able to use those in, these ho in this house. I do have like blinds and stuff that I'm gonna order, so. Anyways, it looks stunning. Okay, another update. I have my boots. I don't even remember the last time I vlogged. Um, I added more tops and it just looks stunning. I filmed a ton of TikToks. Look at how amazing the beige puff bag looks here. I'm taking this with me to fly tomorrow though. I was just taking some photos over here. Um, I don't know where the rest of my stuff is. We'll find that over time. But guys, it's just like so perfect and so stunning. I need to find a really cool statement piece ottoman. And I do want to replace this. Even though I know I'm probably going to like having a fan here. But it's like I need like a cool chandelier. Not chandelier, but like a cool vibe. You know what I mean? I don't like chandeliers, but you guys get what I mean. I'm just in such a good mood. You know when you've like been so tired and in a funk. Like you can't focus for like a couple days. And then all of a sudden you're like fine. That's me right now. I just put like a little bit of gradual tanner on my face. Because this is what I mean. Like you can see how tired I am. I'm so puffy. Like oh god. Okay. Anyways though. I am feeling better. And I just ordered dinner. Um, I My grandma is staying here. I'm leaving to go to New York. I don't know if I've even said this really. For 48 hours. I have a little like Macy's thing. And then just because I'm there. I'm going to record two episodes. And I'm getting dinner with Brooke and Danielle and that's pretty much it. I feel like I'm in New York all the time. Um, so I'm just packing very quickly. I'm going to do a carry on. I'm like driving myself to the airport so I can get back Friday night and just like have a good normal night here. Um, but I'm doing a little like Macy's live thing. This is my Macy's outfit and I've got to pack really quickly. So 
anyways, this, the the um, closet at night has such a good vibe. I'm so glad I did the lights. I'm such a lighting girl. Like, I need l natural light. I need light everywhere. I just I desperately, desperately need it. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to wear. And this isn't necessarily... It's still, like, kind of cold. Also, I need to move my bag. I, like, have had the Eric's store bag all weekend. By the way, this is from, like, Honey Boutique. I think um, on Etsy, Tarte gifted them to us, but I just saw they commented on my um, TikTok. So anyways, I'm going to move this over um, to this bag. I also have one of Coco's harnesses here. I don't know why that's there. And my sister left all of her stuff here in my bag naturally. So anyways, I'm going to do all this, get to packing. I would like to have some time to read tonight, but I just have so much energy now which is so unfortunate because I was so tired all day and I knew this would happen to me, so great. Okay, so I have pretty much everything packed. I'm throwing literally everything in this puff bag. I'm just gonna pack like my carry-on and then that's gonna be like my purse. I think I can do that, right? Yeah, one carry-on, one personal item. Anyways, you know what's crazy? Like I fly almost weekly and still and I have I, I've been on what like probably 500 planes and I still like every couple months will be like wait you know anyways here's my bag and then I'm doing my puff bag this just has this is a sample of a Kindle case that I'm not forever gonna release but I always like throw chargers and stuff in here and then I'm just gonna put in like the random stuff that I need and it's gonna be a really really great trip I don't even need those in here right now but Good morning guys, it is Wednesday morning. I leave for New York in a couple of hours. I'm just going to get a workout in first. I'm listening to a podcast, it's getting really loud. Uh, I'm going weightlifting. Oh my gosh, I have just been so tired lately. Like it is, ever since I moved, like it is so hard for me to wake up. Like, I don't know if it's just that I'm sleeping. I, I don't I actually have no idea what it is. I don't feel like my sleep is any different. Um, it stormed all last night and coconut is like terrified of storms and I guess Fitz is now too because Fitz, I had one because Coco is obviously sleeping in her crate. I had her crate next to me with my hand on her crate and then Fitz was sleeping on top of me. So I slept an hour like not really but like it was bad. Anyways if anyone has good sleeping tips or like how to wake up really refreshed please let me know. I go to bed early. I haven't tracked my sleep on my wear ring, so maybe I just been sleeping bad this week. I like read before bed, I'm not on my phone. Like, I don't know. Maybe I get too much sleep. I don't know. I don't think that's it either. I just need help. Please, please, someone. Okay, y'all, here's what I wore to work out today. This Amazon set is $30. I'll link it below. It's like the only, there's one other Amazon set I really like, but it's basically like the one I swear by. I feel like a lot of them just like don't hold up and you end up spending more money in the long run because you have to like keep replacing it. This is amazing. I've had it for like two years. It like sucks you in. It's just the best set ever. Um, this top is skims what I was wearing yesterday, but I need more of these. I used to be like, they're so sheer, I don't know, but honestly, they're perfect for summer, they're perfect for ever workouts, they're perfect for just like everyday wear. I have a lot of skim stuff, but they're a little thicker. For summer, I'm gonna order a bunch more of these. I'll link this as well. I have my hokas, I have my beige puff bag. This is what I always carry with me to workouts. And then I also have my breadwinning housewife tumbler that's still available um, at shop.jamedia.com slash iOS, um, it's linked always. Um, I need to leave in like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna quickly shower, just fed the dogs, and leave. I'm gonna drive myself to the airport. I love driving to the airport. Like if it's a two day trip, I will, because it's cheaper than Uber. Um, but it's just, I don't know, something about it makes you feel very like mature, you know? All right guys, I'm ready for the airport. Here is my airport outfit of the day. Here's the thing, obviously the closet is stunning and this looks stunning. The issue with my house is that a lot of the time the lighting goes down on my face and not at my face. So I've got to figure out how to make this look a little bit better. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. See, because like, it's right direct, but there's lighting here too. What do I do? Anyways, my uh, pink banged up luggage is not making me feel very chic today, but uh, I'll survive. This compact duffel is the best carry-on bag you'll ever use ever, 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 ever. It is so good. I will link it. I've tried every single one. I just made an entire TikTok about it. I've tried every single one of them. I have the away one. I have all of them. 
nothing compares to this. Like I'm giving my away one. I love away also. This luggage is away. But the actual like carry-on bag, there's just nothing like this one. So anyways, I'm heading out. Um, very quick workout and then quick back here and now we're off i guess i'm gonna get um oh no i don't even need to get breakfast at the airport because i forgot i ordered myself healthy snacks yesterday i am a genius all right y'all i made it to new york hello my room is actually really cute i this hotel is so confusing i'm staying in Midtown, uh, which I normally, I mean, I guess I used to. Our studio used to be in Midtown, and then I moved. I normally don't stay in Midtown. I feel like I used to because our studio used to be in Midtown, but I'm here for Macy's, and Macy's is pretty close. So anyways, they booked the hotel. Um, I'm staying at the Renaissance. The bathroom's like actually really cute. And coming over here, like hotel room tours are just so standard. I had my burger, I was so hungry, delivered at the, oh no, I don't have a bottle opener. Oh shoot. Actually, I think I have my keys in mine. Anyways, I'm so hungry, I'm shaking, but I wanted to film this first. My view was actually really cool. Um, And then here's the bed. So tonight I'm just staying in the hotel room. I've, I come to New York so often that now it's not like, oh, what can I do? It's like, this is just kind of like part of the like routine almost. Also, I see my friends from New York all the time. So unless I'm here for like more than two days, I don't really see that many people. But I'm seeing Danielle twice actually because we're recording tomorrow too. I'm recording in the morning just because I'm here already so I might as well. I'm recording with Serena and Danielle. Serena and I have been trying to record together for like so long. Um, And then I'm going to do a Macy's Live. I'm like co-hosting it for Macy's. And then after that, I have a dinner with Brooke and Danielle. And then I moved up my flight on Monday or on Friday morning to land at noon in Dallas so I can be home. So that is that. I'm gonna give you guys a little dinner haul. Like my One Tree Hell lovers out there, I know there's a lot of y'all. I love that show. And as someone who like doesn't watch new shows, I can watch that over and over again. In fact, that's actually what I want to watch tonight. Uh, what do they call it? Oh, I'm so done. This is a twist off. Um, the like One Tree Hill rewatch podcast I was listening to it because they had James Lafferty on and I just love listening to it. It's like my comfort show. I just love Sophia Bush so much. So anyways, food haul. Can you guys tell I'm like delirious right now? I'm also reading another Ellen Hildebrand novel. So I've got to do that. And it's going to be a really, really good time here. I got a burger. This is like really highly rated on DoorDash. I was craving a mommy, by the way, I had Zumami closed, like nationwide. I am so confused. I Googled it and then it's just like never open in New York when I'm here. I feel like it's just never actually open. And it is my favorite burger ever. If there are umamis still out there, get the truffle burger. It's so good. Um, but I got curly fries and a burger and a root beer. Welcome to New York, everyone. So I'm just gonna chill for a bit and eat my food and then I'll come back alive. Good morning guys, I just made some coffee. I'm about to get ready. I need to leave for the studio in about an hour so I ordered some room service. I just kind of wanted to chat and catch up a little bit. I really should be getting ready, but instead I'm talking. So uh, no one's surprised. I don't know, I just have been feeling, I think the, honestly like most of this year, like kind of like disconnected from myself, but I mean that in a way of like, I'm not like journaling, I'm not doing like my traditional morning routine. My And I also think like every time I move, it like takes a second to like really get into the routine, but also it hasn't helped that I've been like traveling a lot. Anyways, like I'm just like go, go, go. And I have like, I'm not like making the time for like myself, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Or like thinking or like vision boarding or whatever. I will say though, um, I was like updating. I had already made a vision board for this year and then I was like updating a few things that I thought about yesterday and I got an email. And I was like, that is crazy. And it's not directly for that event, but it's like an event that could work for the event that I wanted. ACMs. And I was like, wait a second, that's crazy. Like, by the way, guys, the ACMs are in Dallas in May. And like, if I am not there, oh my God. Like I, that is like literally my dream. My dream is to like host red carpet there. But also I would like to just go in any sort of like business brand capacity, like doing whatever with the ACMs. I don't know, I just feel like even, I can tell, I know this sounds so stupid, but like my face is so puffy. Well, I don't feel like that's every time my face is puffy, so never mind. I don't know, I just feel like I don't even like look like myself right now, if that makes any sense. 
Um, so I need to have like a coming back to Jesus moment almost. Like a, I don't know. Honestly, all I need to start doing again is morning pages. Because once I do morning pages, which is when you wake up in the morning and you write for three pages straight, I am like so clear and I know what I want. And like every time I get off of that is when I'm like so confused. And I'm like a very visual person. I think I have anxiety and that's what like helps me like seeing things. Like I always have lists. I always have like certain things whatever I, I need like to be able to see my clothes or like i get it's just i don't know how to describe it like not like oh my god i need a huge closet rings right? not that i just mean like like i need to like have my clothes in front of me so that i can see them like it could be on the bed you know what i mean i forgot to ice roll before i put my skincare on and like i don't like ice rolling after my skincare because i feel like maybe that's not bad for my skincare i don't know you guys Put your skincare on and then ice roll or ice roll and then put your skincare on. I actually need to know. Anyways, I've just been feeling disconnected. But I will say, I like had this whole... I might as well talk about this here. I feel like the vlog has like no secrets. Literally at all. So, I struggle in my career feeling like there's so many different things. Because there's like KE Book Club. And then there's also The O Kind. And then there's also Broman and Cast And there's also I Love You So Much. Like, right? So, I've been thinking about it. And like, even just like where I see the direction of the podcast going. Like, what I feel like I want the podcast to be now. And y'all really, at the end of the day, want solo episodes. And then one episode's like my friends. Like, that's really the number one. Um, and then I was just thinking, like, when I bought this house, it was so that I could have a studio in Dallas. Um, like on my property, but as time's gone on and I love like the look of my house so much and the lighting is so good I was like, what if I just do it in my house and I make it like a little bit more like produced in the house But it still is like very raw and it's like my social life Like my life as is is centered around my house like I always have people I'm the host I always have friends over there's always people staying with me There's all you know what I mean like a lot like my house is like the house that like everything happens at and that everyone hosts at You know what I mean? So I was like that's interesting and then also, I was already thinking like I wanted to do like a six week cycle on the show where it's like one book episode, one navigating in your 20s, two solos, two interviews, like whatever it is, or like those can kind of go, come and go. And then with that, it would kind of put KE Book Club under the podcast, which is already really under the podcast. And then if it was like Kinsey's home or like Kinsey's house or like some sort of name that's better than that, somehow having to do with like the house. Um, it would like work and then if I wanted to do certain interviews I can still do those interviews in the studio Like I have a few people that I would like fly out for but then I could do like the intro at my house You know what I mean? And like have it be a podcast. That's like Kinsey's house It's like a lot more like solos a lot more of, like what's actually going on My life where it feels like there's like I feel like the podcast I love it so much But there's like a disconnect because I'm always like interviewing people and I'm not always just talking like just me and you guys So I feel like I would really like that on the show and I feel like it's a good idea. And I could just rebrand it. I've never, I haven't loved the name really ever of the podcast. But I don't love Kenzie's house either. Like, it would need to be something else. Um, and doing like a rebrand with that. And then just having everything shot in my house and making it really cute and cool. And like, I can see like a cute intro. Like, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like it would be good, you know? So, let me know what y'all think. Been thinking about it a lot. It's like, honestly, like the top of mind always. And it would make more sense with like product line for like home stuff. Like there's a lot of like Broman and Castor stuff we're working on. And I'm like, that makes sense and works under that podcast name. You know what I mean? Like not that much will change about the podcast, but it would just be like a little bit different and a little bit cozier of a vibe. And it's like sterile in studio with like different, like I would have a lot less guests on. Let me know. Oh, I think I was just going to look like that. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I need to probably get ready. Yeah, it's 8.45. Okay, well, I'm getting ready. Oh, today, um, I am going to the studio, recording with Serena and Danielle, and then I have, like, a lunch break, and then I have to be in studio for Macy's. I'm co-hosting Macy's Live, um, uh, doing that at, like, 2. I think I go on at 4, and then after that, I have dinner with Brooke and Danielle, and then I leave in the morning, and I can go home. I will say, it's also crazy, like, I am, every time I, like, do anything i'm always like i'm just so grateful and it's like all because of y'all and like even coming to new york like i remember growing up like not that and honestly you do get used to things like traveling and stuff like that and not that i'm not grateful for it it's just like you know like when you've only gone to new york like for work when it's the first time going to new york for like a work thing obviously you're like oh my god whatever you know what i mean and it still is like oh my god and i do like always want to make sure i'm like reminding myself of that 
Um, I'm just like right now. I'm just so anxious about leaving. The reason I really don't want to be here right now is because I'm anxious about leaving Coco at home because she can't walk. And I like my grandma's staying there with her, my brother, and I like feel bad that like I don't know the one taking care of her, and I need to be there, and I'm really stressed about her recovery. So that's why, by the way, I'm like, okay, like I'm ready to get home. Um, but it is just like so crazy. Like I think about it all the time. Like if you would have told my 16 year old self, this is my life, she would have been so excited. But it's just. I don't know, it's wild, because sometimes I come something that feels like normal, and I'm like, I don't ever want this stuff to feel normal, though, like, you know, like, it's not normal. Anyways, I'm, like, having this whole conversation with you guys and holding, like, the pink balls, so I'm gonna go now. Let's see if my face is chiseled. Oh, yeah, better. Should have ice rolled. Ugh. All right, here's my outfit. I've decided that I'm stopping at Blue Bottle for coffee, which will surprise no one. This shirt is from Aritzia. I have jeans on. My new balances, I'm throwing this jacket on. I like couldn't find outfits for this trip that I liked just because, yes, my closet is unpacked, but not for like clothes for this weather right now. And also just like, I don't know, I just like, it, just having a weird outfit day, you know? I felt like none of my clothes worked. So I have my Carhartt jacket on, I packed very light, and then my pass bag, but I just called an Uber to go to the studio. I just texted Serena, I actually think I'm gonna get Blue bottle and then go to the studio. Um, I did my makeup, which I'm actually like pretty pleased with how my makeup turned out. Guys, my girlies are here. I went to Blue Bottle. The Blue Bottle right here is huge. It's yeah. Well, that's the only reason I was like, if you balls. go to Blue Bottle, it's right there. Yeah, blue balls. Blue balls. Yeah, Blue Balls as well. Happy Thursday. Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, we, we did it. We did it. Danielle's oh, first book episode. She brought her homework. She brought her Kindle. <laughs> I feel like, I really feel like I held my own. I was really nervous, but Kenzie always makes me feel so comfortable. No, you did such a good and job. And I feel validated in my booking. You are a reader, Danny. I am a reader, but I'm not a reader. No, but you are a reader. You so read fun. books. That's what reader means. You're right, you're yeah. right. It's a good start to the day, too. Yeah. This is so fun. Yay! Right, guys I'm back in my hotel what a great way to start my morning the only thing is that when I travel like I've been talking about my face being puffy my face just gets so puffy so then any of these recordings I'm like oh god so anyways had a fabulous morning with Serena and then Danielle I'm gonna see Danielle tonight where did I put my camera oh my god okay anyways um I have like two hours until my call time so i'm gonna order some lunch and just chill for a bit well i need to work and then i'll go to dinner so that is that hope you guys are enjoying the vlog my hair i'm not having the best hair day like i should have like blown my hair out up here you know but i'm learning it's okay ordered room service for lunch i just got a quinoa salad watching the avon as always and a water oh wow it's really really serious Made it in my green room. Such a beautiful view. Okay, just did hair and makeup touch-ups. Now I'm putting on my outfit. We're about to go down. I need to put bronzer still on my chest or they need to put bronzer on my chest. I also feel like I just got something on my shirt. Awesome. Just awesome. Love that for me. Okay. I'm like hitting my midday slump, but I have to go be a host. So, I'm gonna, of course, wearing kitten heels always. All right, y'all, it is a little bit later. It's actually a lot later. I fit it, where's my jacket? Right here. Guys, this entire vlog is me, like, not knowing where things are. Um, I finished with Macy's, it went great, and then I came back, got some work done, watched One Tree Hill, and Oh wait, you already know that. Okay. I'm not like, unwell in this vlog, I think, or this YouTube channel as a whole. Brooke just texted me that she's gonna head to dinner now, so I'm calling my Uber, and we're gonna meet at Ruby's. I'm going to dinner with Brooke and Danielle. Guys, it was the night, the evening. I am not okay. This bag launches tomorrow in my time. It's out in your time, but. I'm very excited. I can't wait to have a little girly girl dinner, catch up, and then I leave in the morning and I get to go home. 
back to Texas and I'm so excited to be home for the weekend. I booked a blowout for tomorrow already and we have plans tomorrow night. We're going to our summer bar. If y'all watched the summer presentation that I made, oh my God, I have like a van picking, like a, like a Mercedes van picking me up. This is kind of crazy. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. How embarrassing my flash just went off with the girlies. We're at Ruby's. Looks stunning. All right, guys, I am in a rush because my flight that was, we got moved up to nine, got canceled for American or got delayed until 6 p.m. tonight. And they said it was weather and I called and it was maintenance. So I just rebooked a new flight from JetBlue that leaves at the same time. And I'm leaving. I'm not happy about the money, but like I cannot stay for 12 hours. And again, I just need to get back to Coco. The dog, like my grandma will leave at noon when I get there. So like I I gotta get I gotta get back. So anyways, we're off. Goodbye, New York. See you later. Made it back at like 20 minutes earlier than I was originally going to. Yes, I'm out of money. But the first flight, oh I don't even think I remember to say this. I had like so much drama today. I'm gonna go pick her up. Coco is not doing well, guys. Come here, girly. Come here. Come here. Okay. Coco still cannot walk on her back legs. Um, my grandma was with her the whole time and they had a great time. She actually also did so much around my house for me, which was so nice. I had no idea coming back and I felt bad. I was just so tired. Um, shout out Maggie, you know? Anyways, this morning, so I booked that flight that I was okay, whatever, at least at the same time. Didn't realize that JetBlue and American Airlines merged. So I canceled the flight that Macy's had booked. And because like it was delayed literally right now, it still wouldn't be taking off for two more hours. It got delayed to 7.30 p.m. Um, so I canceled that flight, booked a new JetBlue but flight, flight, didn't say anything about a delay online. I realized that the email, it's the exact same flight. And I'm like, are you joking? So then I'm like 10 minutes away from the airport. I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And then I booked another flight through Delta that was leaving, I got to the airport at 8.15, it was boarding at 8.15, and um, it left at 8.55, and then I got home at noon. So, you know, JetBlue's giving me credit, that's nice, because they did lie, and they were not transparent about the fact that the flight that I just booked was delayed 12 hours. So, anyways, have my coffee, I'm home to spend time with my dogs, to see my friends, and to just relax and chill. Today I found out I am going to Coachella, which is it's with my dream absolute dream brand like my number one brand i've ever wanted to work with i literally wear their shoes every single day my number one brand ever right um i was not planning on going i'm like more of a stagecoach girl obviously i wasn't planning on going to coachella but like the opportunity is just like so crazy and dom's invited so i was like you know what we're gonna go we are gonna go so oh i didn't even know that i had a Kristen cavalier cookbook my God, the things you find when you move. Oh, I have a Skims haul. I'll show you guys really quickly. Um, I don't know how much more I'm gonna vlog of. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do this with one hand, which is kind of fair because Coco can't move her back leg. So I feel like between us together, we can do it. Right, Coco? Um, I have been in contact with this physical therapist and she is gonna get a consultation to go in. I don't have it. They haven't like scheduled it yet because I had to like send in all the info. So anyways, I got this blue short sleeve top cute i really wanted more of the like super crop tops that i have and i don't I, here's the thing about me and skims i love everything i get and i don't know what they're called so like i need to figure that out i also got a black short sleeve cropped top i got a gray and a black long sleeve because i'm constantly living in their long sleeves and i need to figure out the long sleeve that is like kind of sheer that i was wearing earlier in this vlog because i thought that these were the even though this is so soft i'm fine with it but those are good for summer, so I need to figure that out. I got this summer, or this pink, um, like sleeveless tank. But I got it in a medium, I should have gotten it in a small, but hopefully it just shrinks a little bit. And then I got this really oversized, well, over, I ordered it in sizes up, like big long sleeve, just for like the lake and stuff this summer to like throw on over a swimsuit. And then I got like a light, um, little sweat set that will be a good like travel outfit of the day in the spring and summer because it's still thin But it like covers you like I don't like wearing like shorts or like short sleeves on a flight like it's not for me I don't really know why I just don't like it So I got that I have so many boxes to unpack. I also got new cowboy boots, which I will show you guys in 
closet room or something. But I'm gonna spend a little bit more time with my girly. Guys, everyone, please keep Coco in your thoughts and prayers. I thought she would be walking by now. I do think there's slight improvements, but I am like really worried about it. I'm like constantly stressed about it. I just am trying not to like talk about it all the time. And I will say through this experience, I've learned that I can handle, I can regulate my emotions a lot better than I used to be. But it still is just like the worst thing ever to like watch her. I'm really lucky though that they have a great dog center and I have a great family near me that like will take care of her um, and help because it is so much work. But love this girly. Aww. I just unboxed my new pair of cowboy boots. These are from Dan Post. And I've been looking for a pair of boots. Like I wanted brown and black. If I could have designed a boot myself, like this honestly would have been it. I also like, like to the normal eye, I like a boot to look a little bit tacky. Like that that one, you know what I mean? Like really wild, really crazy. Um, I'm gonna link this. By the way, I don't know if I said this, I did film a cowboy boot collection. This is not all my boots, but these are really the ones that I wear. Um, and it's on TikTok, which is Kinsey the Jackson. Um, but these are just stunning. Dom saw them and sent them because she knew that these are like the kind of boots that I wanted and she also ordered some herself, so she found them. But they're so cute. Dom's first pair of boots, actually, um, when I bought them for her, which, by the way, Dom's first pair of boots um, are actually from Dan Post. And by the way, justice for that video. So I filmed a video making Dom a Texan, and it's like the homepage video of my YouTube channel when you're like a new subscriber. And it is the funniest video ever, and it did not, it doesn't get the love that it deserves. Like, obviously I'm biased because it's like my own video. Actually, not even, because I feel like, uh, look, I'm proud of everything that I do. I'm just like indifferent. Like, I don't think I'm the greatest. I don't think like whatever, nothing like that. This video is really funny. So anyways, I should have like edited it down into TikToks. Maybe I'll like edit, I'll, I'll do that. Because it's so funny. Anyways, I love those boots. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Um, and I don't know if I've told you guys, but this summer my goal is to get a natural tan, which has never happened in my life because Micah's name, my grandmother, is uh, Maureen Delaney and she has red hair. So I've never had a natural tan in my life and I only burn. Um, but I say that because I'm so sick. Like I feel like my outfits really depend on if I'm tan or not. Like if I have a tan on or not and I scrubbed it off when I got home from the airport. And I don't have a tan. And granted, not all my clothes are in here either, so like I don't really know what my vibe is today. I don't know. I've got to figure out what I'm wearing. I also have got this shirt a while ago from Hutch, and I've been able to wear it with this like cute like pink bow in the back. It's not my vibe tonight. I'm trying to go a little more chill, but I still think it's really cute. Um, I need to hang my skim stuff probably too, but I don't know. Maybe I'll go with the dress, like a nighttime dress. Oh, I do have these new ones. Oh, and I also have my Love Shack fancy dress. Oh, and I have to announce this giveaway winner. Okay, well, I'm gonna come back to you guys because I think I have my outfit picked out. I'm so excited for girls' dinner. Um, there's nothing better than girls' dinner. I had um, a conversation with Lauren and her boyfriend when we were in Chicago, and he was like, if Lauren's off, I just know she like, needs to go hang out with the girls, and then she's fine. And then I'm like, oh, you're great. I'm like, that's actually me, though. That's literally me, so... Love the girlies. Justice for the girlies. They didn't really need justice, but justice for them. I've changed a couple times, and this is what I've settled on. It's nothing crazy, okay? Um, this sweater is my free people sweater that I've had for years, and I have it in multiple colors. It's the best sweater ever. If it's available, I will link it below. It's worth buying it this time of year, because they have sales a lot, too. I got it on sale, I think both. I think every time that I purchased it, Dom and I bought them in college, and they're just so good. My sweater, no, my skirt is Abercrombie. Um, my boots are the little Casey Priscilla boots, and then I have my Chanel on, because I need like a crossbody, and it's actually the only crossbody bag that I have. I feel like I used to have so many, and now I have none. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog. I love you guys. There's gonna be a lot of uh, TikToks made this weekend, because I won't be filming, or I won't be vlogging. But hope you guys enjoyed. Love y'all so much. Sorry that I was like, really all over the place this week. I just am really all over the place. So you guys, what you see is really what you get. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. So my mother was like, okay, like, don't worry. You're going to come over and we're going to, we're going to figure it out. So my mom gives me an edible. <laughs> She's like, I was not expecting that. No, I know. She's like, well, if you can breathe after that, then we know it's anxiety because the edible is going to calm you down. So my mother, I went over and I took an edible and I slept for 22 hours. 22 hours.